Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another bat review video. We are here at Hunter Hobby Park in Riverside, California. It's a little change of scenery. We're back where we started. But today, we're gonna review a new bat that our teammate, Zach, bought. All right, Zach, tell me a little bit about your bat here. Uh, this is an Easton Obscura. It's a 26 ounce, 13 and a half inch barrel. It's uh, the Ghost 3.0 tag, double barrel launch comp. There you go. So you ready to hit some bombs with it or what? Yes, sir. Let's go, Alan. We got Alan here today. He's also gonna be launching some bombs, hopefully over the fence. These fences, or a little bit deeper than what we're used to at Andoko Park. It's like 330 to dead center, 325 down the line. So hopefully we can hit it out, right, Alan? We're gonna try. All right, and as always, the person who owns the bat is gonna unwrap it, new unwrapper. There you go, Zach, start unwrapping. Look at that, smooth. Nice. That was smoother than the last one we did. Damn. There you go, look at that. Look at how clean that is. Nice matte finish. We're gonna mess it up today. <laughs> And as always, if you own the bat, you take your first swings on it. This is gonna be Zach's very first swings with this bat. We'll see how he does. Let's go, Zach. I wanna give a quick shout out to our friend Jesse. He's gonna be pitching for us today. Thank you, Jesse. We appreciate you stepping in, brother. Ooh, Ooh first hack. I don't even feel it. Sounds so good. Clean swing. Not bad, Jesse. Don't kill the man, he's trying to help you. <laughs> Well, so far, it's really true to weight, really balanced, feels just like the Ghost Mondo. I really like it. One twenty off the bat. All right, Zach, that's your bat right there that you're holding. You just took your hacks. How do you feel with it, man? I think this was one of the best investments I've ever made. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I used to swing Easton maybe six years ago when I played Sunday League. I don't really remember what bats I had, but this one for sure I'm, I'm gonna remember. Yeah? Would you recommend it? Of course. There you go. As always, I gotta show you guys how it looks when someone who doesn't know what they're doing hits. So, here I go. Don't laugh. Man, that upper one felt smooth. Yeah. Caught it dead on the sweet spot. It doesn't feel bad. It's loud in my ear, but it does not feel bad. Oh, that was my best hit. Woo, I like those liners. Woo. How about Jesse? All right, there was my hacks. You know. I got used to too many uh, end loaded bats that we've been reviewing and playing with lately that the balance felt a little bit weird to me. But I will say, um, this bat did feel nice in the hands, man. It felt really smooth on the hands. So for being a balanced bat, it threw off my swing a little bit, but it was very forgiving. It's very forgiving. The two-piece bat, it's got that CNX technology or whatever it's called. Um, I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments, but yeah, so it makes it for a very forgiving bat once you do miss and on the inside of the handle, you don't feel a lot of vibration, but that double barrel tech which sounds really nice and uh yeah it made for some pretty good line drives on my end so as far as my hacks i liked it um i gotta get used to balance again but as far as you know line drives i'm gonna use it for line drives if i ever pick one up all right we got alan coming up here alan do your thing brother let's go Ooh, all this bat echoes This thing's nice though. Sounds like the Ghost Mondo Easton. Ooh, that sounds good. It feels way balanced. The thing is very light. But very good pop. 
very good pop. There you go, baby. Yeah, this thing's feeling pretty nice. Good pop. So I'm gonna hop that, baby. It's so light though that I feel like I can't go hand over hand. I got a baseball style. This thing has nice pop though. Feels like a ghost mondo. All right, Alan, how did you feel with the new bat, Zach's new bat there? It felt great, it felt like the ghost mondo to me. I guess it has the same tech, Yeah. it felt good. I've been rocking with the Easton for a long time. Yeah. Starting in 2016. There you go. Uh, with a lot of the older Bomb Squad series. Yeah. Had a, quite a few. So how does that one compare? But this feels really good, nice pop. Uh, it's a balance, so it's a little different for me, but Good pop, feels good. I love the sound too, call it Echoes. My nickname for it is Echoes. There you go. <laughs> All right, we got Brandon here, first time doing a review with us. He's new to softball, so you're gonna get a, uh, a new player's perspective on this bat. So hit it up, Brandon. Oh yeah. Swings faster than the inloaded though. This is a nice bat though, it feels good. It feels natural. Ten out of ten. All right, brother. How did you feel? First time using this this bat. How'd you feel? I feel pretty good, man. Um, so far in my softball career, I've only been doing it for a couple of months, but yeah. this is definitely in my top three favorite bats. Um, honestly, I might have to buy one of these. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, just the balance feel. It feels um, completely different from the end loaded. What I'm used to so far. This is like top tier bat. This is like what you would want. You know, if you're getting spending three, four hundred dollars on a bat, this is the kind of performance that you want right here. There you go. And sure, you don't even sure. have to spend that much on it. Yeah, yeah. That's the best part. Would you recommend it? Highly recommend it. Yeah, ten out of ten. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you have it, everyone. That was the Easton Obscura um, Balance 26 ounce two piece uh, 3.0 or the Ghost 3.0 Tech, which is a double barrel bat. Um, it swings well for the Balance bat. Like I said, my preference is end loaded now. But once you get used to the Balance, man, it swings really good and it's very forgiving on the hands. And that 13 and a half inch barrel gives you for a big sweet spot. So if you're interested in one, I'll put a link down below where you can get one. Link in the description. Go check them out. Get yourself one, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. This is.